So the first thing we can do is distribute the 5 to both terms in the parentheses. Doing so will give us 4 is less than or equal to 3x minus 5 minus 5x is less than or equal to 8. Now we want to combine both of the x terms in the middle. So doing that will give us 4 is less than or equal to negative 2x minus 5 is less than or equal to 8. Now we can work on getting x alone. So let's add 5 to all sides of the inequality. And that will give us 9 is less than or equal to negative 2x is less than or equal to 13. Now we can divide both sides by negative 2 to get x alone. Remember, we have to flip the sign to do that because we always flip the sign when we multiply or divide by a negative number. So after doing that, we'll have negative 9 halves is greater than or equal to x is greater than or equal to negative 13 halves. Now just for ease of reading, I prefer to write mine the other way so that the smallest number is on the left with negative 13 halves is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to negative 9 halves. So now with interval notation, we have to start with brackets since we know that the solution includes those numbers as well with the equal sign. So then it goes from negative 13 halves to negative 9 halves. And now graphing this, we want to plot negative 13 halves and negative 9 halves. And we want them to have a closed circle since x includes those numbers themselves. So we'll fill those in. And then x takes on the values in between them, as you can also see by the interval notation. So we'll shade the area in between. And that is our solution.